Hello, thank you for joining me. Thank you for clicking on that little play button. That's just splendid. So you're probably thinking, voiceovers, well, what's that all about? Why on earth do I need one? I'm not doing a TV commercial. I'm not producing the next series of The Simpsons. Although if you are producing the next series of The Simpsons, I am available. Hello. So voiceovers, it isn't restricted to TV or cartoons. And even if your business isn't looking at TV commercials yet, maybe local radio ads, maybe online adverts. You know, the ones you hear on the streaming music stations like Spotify or Pandora, if you're in the US. Or what about the pre-roll ads you see and hear on YouTube? There's loads of different advertising avenues which all use voiceovers. And so, no, Tom and Jerry cartoons may not be your thing, but have you thought about creating an animated explainer video? Have you seen the ones? You put them on your website or on your YouTube channel. They're short, they're sort of one to two minutes long. And they explain to your visitors who you are, what you do, tell them about your products and the services you offer and why they need you. And they use voiceovers. Voiceovers that engage and they emotionally connect with the audience. So that's advertising and animations, but what about that age-old method of communication? The good old telephone. I hear it may be making a comeback. <laughs> so what do your callers hear when they phone your company out of hours? When they're on the line waiting to be connected? When they're following your interactive voice response prompts? Are they hearing the voice of a professional voiceover artist? Are they hearing a voice that's clear, easy to understand and to follow? Do they hear a voice that represents your brand and your organisation? Is it trustworthy? The voice on your phone system can be the first point of contact your callers, your customers have with your business, so make sure you get the right one. And have you ever thought about using voiceovers as part of your social media marketing strategy? So, YouTube. If you use videos, make sure you use a narration. This catches the ears of the viewers, not just the visual aspect. Podcasts. This area is just booming at the moment. Well worth getting in. And even if you're just turning your blog posts into audio files so your readers can download them and listen to them later. This is a great way of repurposing content and getting extra reach for your content. And are you using the benefit of voiceovers internally within your business? So presentations, are you adding a voiceover narration to your sales presentations, to your PowerPoints? And what about training materials? Are you utilising an e-learning system with voiceovers? This can be anything from a welcome induction course for new staff members to you know, ongoing training and development for existing staff. Voiceovers can be used in a myriad of ways in an organisation. Adding audio brings the benefit of an emotional engagement. It allows you to talk directly, to connect directly with your clients and your customers. Now, don't be intimidated by hiring a professional voiceover. It's probably not as expensive or as time-consuming as you think. You don't need to go through an agency or an agent. You don't need to go through one of these online casting sites so you've got to wade through thousands and thousands of auditions. Look, there doesn't have to be a middleman. It can be simple. It can be straightforward. My contact details are on the screen. Get in touch. Pop over to my demo page on the website if you want to hear more. Give us a call, send us a text or send an email and we'll talk about your project. So get in touch. I'm looking forward to it.